Oil prices open the year slightly stronger. Ties between two major crude producers, Saudi Arabia and Iran, do continue to deteriorate, and they do so fast. Brent crude was up by over 3% earlier on in the day to $38.50 a barrel. The American benchmark, West Texas Intermediate Crude, or WTI as it's more commonly known, that rallied by 29 cents to 37.33. Saudi Arabia is the world's biggest producer and exporter of crude oil. It cut diplomatic ties with Iran on Sunday in response to the storming of its embassy in Tehran. Now, the diplomatic row between these two major oil producers escalated following Saudi Arabia's execution of a prominent Shiite cleric on Saturday. The clash between these two Middle Eastern countries comes as Iran hopes to ramp up its oil exports into the open global market following the expected removal of sanctions after it arrived at a nuclear deal with global powers. Let's head over to New York, where Chitra Norbat is live with more data on the latest developments in the oil market. Uh, Chitra, good to see you. Let's start with a look at the American market. I mean, despite the steep cuts in oil drilling rigs, which you saw in the U.S. last year, output was still over 9 million barrels a day for a fairly big chunk of the year. How did drillers over there adapt to this decline in prices? Rama, drillers continued their drilling. Nomura says U.S. production volume at the end of December was up for a third week in a row. U.S. crude oil volume stood at more than 9.2 barrels, 9.2 million barrels per day on Christmas Day. Goldman Sachs says there's a tug of war between horizontal rig counts. Areas like the Nirobrara, Permian, and the Mississippian are seeing increases, offset by declines in other shale plays, such as in the Bakken. The current rig count is still pointing, though, to a U.S. production declining overall in 2016. Indeed. OPEC did forecast that output from outside the group will actually fall by about 57 or so million barrels of crude a day. But how much of that can we attribute to the U.S.? Analysts like Goldman Sachs say U.S. production will decline by 70,000 barrels per day in 2016. That is at the current rig count level and if there is well deferral. If there aren't well deferrals, then U.S. production would decrease by 325,000 barrels per day on average year over year. Citigroup, on the other hand, believes that the U.S. rig count will eventually fall more than 35 percent toward about 450 rigs, suggesting that production could fall by 60,000 barrels per day this year. However, analysts say even with lower rig counts, beware of increased productivity as that will add some levels to supply. Indeed, we'll have to leave it there for the time being. That's Chitra Norbert live in New York. Just to clarify that earlier number that I used, it's actually about half a million barrels of crude, not 57 million as I mentioned a little earlier.